going everybody welcome back to another video so this weekend this past weekend i had an unlucky couple of dives um with some friends and we didn't really manage to get anything i shot like a pananu and we got some taco but that was kind of it and i didn't really have that much footage to make a video out of but i still wanted to produce something for you guys make something for you guys this week uh, i didn't want to skip a week of putting out a video so i'm gonna be doing as you can tell by the title i'm gonna be doing a how to shoot ukus video i put up a poll um, on my channel uh, as a post that you guys could have voted on um, and thank you to those who voted you helped me make this decision a lot easier but <clears throat> a majority of the voters wanted a how to shoot video and so that's exactly what I'm gonna do um, today's topic is gonna be ukus and I've mentioned before a bunch of times in a bunch of other videos that ukus are my favorite fish to hunt and to shoot and I'll explain why as we go through the clips but I'm just going to be talking about some things that I do um, when I'm hunting ukus and some things that help me out uh, when I'm trying to land them and find them and uh, find the type of structure, whatever it may be. I'm going to talk about all of that that I practice when I'm hunting ukus and I hope it helps you guys out. So let's get into the video. All right, guys, we're starting this video off with a clip of the only uku that I've ever really dive bombed. And this isn't the method that I usually prefer, as you can tell, because it's the only time I've ever done it. But um, usually when you're chumming, or sometimes when you're chumming, you'll get this opportunity. And so that's what happened here. I was chumming in about 65 feet, and this pair of ukus comes in. So I dive bomb, I start flashing the squid fingers, which doesn't work every time for uku, but it works in this case. One of them turns around, comes pretty close. So I line up take my shot on the way out part of the reason why i love to shoot ukus is because of that first initial run that they take it's they r always run super hard and super far and i love hearing that sound of the real screaming it's like you put a shot into an ono or something it's just it's super fun uh, and it's really fun to fight them afterwards too but yeah so just talking a little bit about the structure that I look for it's kind of like this that you could see a little bit uh, when I was going down it's those flats uh, where there's or there's a ledge that goes into a sand channel or something like that ukus I don't really look for a lot of structure unlike most fish which um, usually more structure is better ukus tend to like to hang around the sand pockets or the flats where there's not a lot going on um, here's my dad going in to put in a nice backup shot to secure this uku. But I usually look for the flats and channels, ledges, where it kind of drops from uh, maybe a 40 feet into deeper, like 60 or something like that. Anytime where it goes from reef to sand or reef to flatter reef, that's kind of where they're going to be hanging out um, or just on deep flats like this. So this next clip is a clip of my second biggest uku that I've ever shot. And I was just cruising around. As you can see, there's a big pile of fish down there, but the reef at the bottom is mostly flat. So like I was saying earlier about this is kind of where the ukus like to hang out. They don't really, in general, they don't really like to hang around a lot of structure. But when there's a lot of fish around and there may be some structure, like a little pocket of rocks that are slightly different from the flats, that's where they'll be looking because that's where all the bait fish are going to be. And so as you can see, there's a big school of fish there. I get to the bottom, I'm dusting, and I look up and there's a big uku coming in. So when I'm stalking ukus, I always dust and I always grunt. These, those two things combined usually always bring in the ukus just like it would for most predatory fish, actually. But when I'm going for uku, I like to extend my grunts. Instead of it being short and sharp series of grunts, I like to kind of make it longer and more pauses in between. Unless I'm not seeing anything, but 
if I know that there's Ukus around, I'm gonna make my grunts longer and um, have fewer of them. And there's, I'm sure there'll be an example, maybe you heard it uh, in this clip. But I kinda like to do a different style. When I'm going for like Papillos and uh, Uluas, Omilus, whatever, my grunts will usually be like shorter and sharper and more of them. But for Ukus, I like to be a little bit calmer. Such a cool looking fish, just their head and their jaws, the eyebrows. Super cool looking fish. Now when I'm going for ukus, usually I want to be deeper than 60 feet or 50 to 60 feet deeper than that is kind of my range and that's where I usually go to if I'm gonna target ukus. So this here is in about 65 feet and as you can see just like I was uh, I said about the other two clips the ground is the grounds are completely flat pretty much and I get down to the bottom. And once I start grunting, you can hear that I'm kind of extending the grunt a little bit. I'm not, it's not sharp, it's not fast, it's longer, more extended. And I don't know why, but I found that Uku tends to like that more. As you can see there, there's a pair of them coming in. And once again, just dusting and grunting. You can scratch too, all of that works, but go-to is always grunt and dust. And like I said, I for me personally, I have that specific kind of technique, I guess, for grunting when I'm going for ukus. But you know, any kind of grunting is gonna attract predatory fish. Uh, most kinds of predatory fish, they love that kind of that noise that you're making, whatever it is. So, so I think it's personal preference, but for me, that's just what I found more success with. Um, so. That's kind of what I stick to usually. Like I said, that initial first run is always, I always get a kick out of that. Another thing I like to keep in mind when I'm hunting Uku is I'm not sight fishing for them. Uh, in the sense that I'm not looking for them from the surface. I'm not trying to see them from the surface and then make my drop to try and shoot them. It's more I'm finding the grounds where I think they'll be and then I'm taking a blind drop and trying to call them in if they're in the area. Um, usually if you see an uku from the surface, it already saw you and it's coming to check you out. And once it's done checking you out, he's not going to stick around typically. So ukus are naturally curious. If you take a blind drop into their territory and you start making noise and dusting and whatnot, they're going to come and check you out. They're going to give you a pass or two. So that's usually what I like to do. I don't like to try and wait until I find them from the surface and then drop. And especially the bigger ones, they'll usually come closer when you're taking that blind drop instead of waiting for them to show up underneath you. Now this next clip is pretty recent. So a bunch of you guys probably saw this already, but this is my personal best Uku. And just to give you guys a reference of what kind of depth these guys like to be in, that last clip I showed you was in about 60 feet. And this is going to be in about 77, 76 feet, around there. So that's kind of the range that I like to be in when I'm going for ukus. Fit anywhere from 50 to 70. So I start dusting. And I'm also kind of trying to keep my eyes down. I don't like to stare at ukus too much when they're coming in because I feel like it spooks them. Just like it would for Mu. And as you can see, he gives me a pass there. But I was I was pretty confident that he was going to give me another pass if I waited. And I wasn't confident on that first one. So I dust again, look back up, and take my shot. So keeping my eyes down is kind of just something that I do once I see them. And once they start coming in. Because I don't want to spook them and make them turn around early. When they're coming in, I want them to come in as much as, as close as possible. 
and so I have the greatest chance, but staring at them usually makes them turn around. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope these tips are helpful for you guys. If you guys are trying to shoot your first uku or you're trying to um, break your PB uku, I hope this helps you guys out. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, those are all of the things that I do when I'm trying to shoot ukus, which like I said, they're my favorite fish ever to shoot. And I love the way they taste too and you can do so many different things. You can prepare them so many different ways. And overall, they're just a really cool looking fish and super fun to fight after you hit them. So yeah, just overall my favorite fish to hunt. And I hope that you guys will kind of get to experience that as well. And yeah, I just hope these things that I mentioned in the video were helpful. Let me know down in the comments if there's anything you want to add or anything you have questions on. Because um, I'd love to learn from you guys as well. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I will see you in the next one. Shoots everybody.